Hi, Doctor. I'm Dr. Green. Welcome to ABEM General. Hello. Please help yourself to a pair of gloves. I'm going to be your examiner for this 10-minute ultrasound case. Just a quick reminder, with the ultrasound machine, I'm happy to change depth or gain or help you position the bed to your liking. Before we get started, do you have any questions for me? Um, could we raise the bed just a little bit? Absolutely. So let me know when. So this is your patient. He's a 37-year-old gentleman with a history of IV drug use. He's coming in today complaining of right lateral thigh pain, redness, uh, that's been going on for the past three days. Vital signs when he came in, a little hypotensive, a little tachycardic with a little great fever. Your nurses have tried multiple times to place IVs. I told them that they always have to use the ultrasound. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, Doctor, what I'd like you to sh demonstrate now is how you would use ultrasound to place a peripheral IV in the patient's right upper extremity. Which probe can I get for you? Oh, can I have a linear probe, please? So, Doc, now that you've got the probe, I'm going to get this ultrasound here set up. What I'd like you to do again is please demonstrate for me how you would use the ultrasound to obtain an image to place a peripheral line in the patient's right upper extremity. Okay. Um, can you guys go ahead and extend your arm for me and maybe pull up your gown just a little bit? Thank you. Okay, so um, uh, would you mind decreasing the depth for me? Let me know one up. That's great. So I'm using my linear probe in a transverse orientation. Uh, the indicator is to the patient's right side. I'm looking for pulsatility and I'm looking for compressibility. So I found a vessel that is fully compressible and not pulsatile. So I think that would be my target structure. Uh, this would be my image. Great, Doc. I'll take the probe from you. And what I'd like you to do now is I would like you to draw your attention to the screen. Assume that the video you are currently seeing is the video you just obtained. Using the stylus that's provided to you there, if you don't mind, I'd like you to point out any significant anatomic artifacts or important structures that you would uh, see on this image while you, that would be important to you while you place the ID. Okay, so I'm seeing this circular, again, freely compressible structure here, um, consistent with a vein, and that would be my target. I'm also seeing some other anechoic structures here that are not compressible. So those would be arteries, so I would stay away from those. Um, and this is a muscle, and there's muscle here as well. You have successfully placed an IV in your patient. Remember, the patient came in originally complaining of right lateral thigh pain. What I'd like you to do now is demonstrate with ultrasound how you would assess that area for any signs of soft tissue infection. Which probe would you like to use to do that, Doc? Uh, I think I'd start with a linear probe also, please. Okay. So now that you've got the probe, once again, I'd like you to demonstrate and describe to me how you would use the ultrasound to image his right lateral thigh for soft tissue concerns. Okay. Um, would you mind exposing your right thigh for me? <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, cold jelly. Cold. Ah, ah, that really hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try to be a little more ginger. Thanks for letting me know. Um, would you mind increasing the depth to five centimeters? Actually, that's perfect. Thank you. No problem, Doc. Okay, so again, I'm uh, using my linear probe in the transverse orientation, the indicator pointing to the patient's right, and I would actually be scanning um, through the affected area on the right thigh. So I would be looking for any signs of a soft tissue infection, 
like cobblestoning, suggestive of a cellulitis, or a fluid collection um, so consistent with an abscess. And I think that would be my image. Great, Doug. Take the probe back from you. And at this time, once again, I'd like you to draw your attention to the screen. And I want you to assume that this is the image that you just obtained. And I'd like you to use your stylus to point out any significant anatomic findings, artifacts, or other findings that you would consider when you were interpreting this image. So what I'm seeing is I'm seeing this whole area of this homogeneous echogenic material that seems to be behaving like fluid as it's compressed. So I'd say this whole area is the abscess pocket. Um, and then I'm also seeing some posterior acoustic enhancement, so some brightness back here, which is consistent with this being a fluid-filled structure of an abscess. Okay, now as we've been here, your patient has become a little more hypotensive and tachycardic. Now I would like you to use ultrasound to assess the patient's IVC for his fluid status. Which probe would you like to use to do that, Doc? Can I use the curvilinear probe, please? Uh, once again, please demonstrate and describe to me how you would use the ultrasound to visualize the patient's IVC and what you would be looking at. Okay. Would you mind exposing your belly for me? Is that going to hurt? It shouldn't hurt, but you let me know if it does. Cold jelly, cold. So I'm using um, the curvilinear probe in the epigastrium. And I'm looking to identify the IVC. Okay, so I, I think, I think this would be my image. All right, Doug, I'm gonna take that probe back from you. And once again, I'm gonna have you draw your attention to the screen, use your stylus. And once again, point out any significant anatomic findings, any artifacts or other findings that you see on this image, and describe how you would interpret this image for me, please. Okay, so I'm seeing my liver tissue here. I'm seeing kind of the long um, IVC entering the right atrium, and it looks as though it's pretty fully collapsing with respiration. All right, doctor. Thank you. And that concludes your case. Great. Thank you. Thank you.